Good morning and welcome to All Saints. This is the fourth Sunday in Advent. We will begin with our gathering song, That Boy Child of Mary. That boy child of Mary was born in a stable, a manger his cradle. What shall we call him, child of the manger? What name is given in Bethlehem? The poor child of Mary was born in a stable, a manger his cradle in Bethlehem. His name is Jesus, God ever with us, God given for us in Bethlehem. A poor child of Mary was born in a stable, a manger his cradle in Bethlehem. How can he save us? How can he help us? Born here among us in Bethlehem. That boy child of Mary was born in a stable, a manger his cradle in Bethlehem. Gift of the Father to whom and mother makes him our brother in Bethlehem. That boy child of Mary was born in a stable, a manger his cradle in Bethlehem. Won't the Father, he is a Savior, heaven sent helper in Bethlehem. That poor child of Mary was born in a stable, a manger his cradle in Bethlehem. Gladly we praise him, love and adore him, give ourselves to him in Bethlehem. The poor child of Mary was born in a stable, a manger his cradle in Bethlehem. The Holy Gospel according to Luke, the first chapter. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one. The Lord is with you. So she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. For you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, 
and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth in her old age has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month for her who was said to be barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. The Mary said, Here I am, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Grace and peace from our Savior Jesus Christ. In our everyday lives, we experience God. Like in the meaningful interactions we have with people we meet, or in the taking of communion, or in the hearing of the word, or in the art of prayer, or in the act of service for others, or in the fellowship with other believers. In our everyday lives, we experience God. And then there are those moments where God goes out of God's way to get our attention, where God stops us in our tracks and invites us to walk in a new direction. For example, you are struggling in your career. Your boss is pushing you too hard. You're not getting along so well with your fellow workers. You can't seem to find the motivation to do the work. Not like you did when you first started. You're having a difficult time seeing how your job is impacting the community in a positive way. All these factors get you to start reflecting on why this career matters to you. And is it time for a change? In worship on Sunday morning, you hear something in a song and then in the sermon that talks about someone going through a big change and how God breathes new life into them in the midst of this change, reigniting their passion for life. Later that week, you come across an ad on your Facebook page that is inviting you to enter a program at the university to train for a career you wanted to do ever since you were a child, something that your parents had told you was just a pipe dream. You go through a period of discernment where you reflect on different questions that come to mind when thinking of making this transition. You listen for answers. And after hearing God's confirmation, you decide to enter the program at the university, believing that God is inviting you to walk in this new direction. Remembering that when the anxiety and fear that comes with change tries to get the best of you, that with God, anything is possible. Or as a church, we start to see signs within a ministry we are doing that tell us that God might be inviting us to walk in a new direction. We see that very few people are feeling engaged in the ministry. We are not seeing this ministry bear fruit like it once did. The volunteers are getting tired, burnt out. We are starting to think that the only reason we are keeping this ministry going is because of feelings of nostalgia. So after some reluctance, we enter into a period of discernment. We explore, we ask questions, we listen for God's answers. We then put our trust in God as we walk in this new direction, remembering that when the anxiety and fear that comes with change tries to get the best of us, that with God, anything is possible. Or you're feeling a strong pull to have another child. On your daily strolls, you seem to see so many babies around, and they seem so happy and peaceful. You then go to pick up the Bible and read a story of Hannah praying for the birth of a child. You then go to Christmas Eve service and hear the story of the baby Jesus. You start to think, this can't be a coincidence, can it? You then start a period of discernment where you ask questions 
and listen for God's answer. Then you choose to walk in this new direction, remembering that when the anxiety and fear that comes with change tries to get the best of you, that with God anything is possible. Or you're feeling that your family plan is complete. On your daily strolls you see siblings fighting with each other. You hear babies crying. You smell poopy diapers. An afternoon at your sister's house with, your younger, with her younger children leaves you feeling exhausted. On Sunday morning, you hear the story of the rebellion of King David's son. You start to think, God is really telling me something here. You then start a period of discernment where you ask questions and listen for God's answer. Then you choose to walk in this new direction. Remembering that when the anxiety and fear that comes with change tries to get the best of you, that with God anything is possible. There are moments throughout our lives where God gets our attention and invites us to walk in a new direction. In our gospel, God gets Mary's attention through the mediation of an angel. God is inviting Mary to walk in a new direction, to give birth to the Messiah, the Son of God, the one who will come into the world and liberate God's people from oppression, from sin. Mary enters into a period of discernment where she reflects on different questions. She listens for the angel to answer her questions. And when the angel does, Mary is confident that God is indeed inviting her to walk in this new direction. She puts her trust in God, remembering that when the anxiety and fear that comes with change tries to get the best of her, that with God, anything is possible. As we discern together over the next year, the new direction God is inviting us to walk down, as we go through this period of exploration and questioning, as we listen for God's answers to this exploration, to these questions, may we put our trust in God. May we remember that when our the anxiety and fear that comes with Change tries to get the best of us, that with God, anything is possible. And may we see as the shepherds do on Christmas night, when their lives change forever, that the new life God promises us in the midst of our anxiety and uncertainty shines brightly in the baby Jesus. Let us pray. Loving God, as we discern where you are inviting us to walk, open our ears to listen for your voice. Open our hearts to trust in you. Open our minds to remember that with you anything is possible. Open our eyes to see the new life that you will breathe in us as we walk in this new direction. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let us pray with confidence in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. To access our announcements, you can go to our website or receive our Thursday email blast. If you're not on our email blast, please contact our office. Please join us this evening for our Christmas Eve candlelight service, either at 5 p.m. without communions or our 7 p.m with communion service. Our 5 p.m. service will be live streamed. Receive a blessing. The God of peace bless you. The love of Christ sustain you in hope. And the anointing of the Spirit remain upon you now and forever. Amen. I invite us to join together in singing our sending song, Joy to the World.
Go in peace, serve the Lord.